Sharing is fundamental. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com with another look at some of the ways that we are winning for the week of March 6th, 2017. I know it's been nearly a month since we've made a Good News episode, and if you listen to the Media Monarchy shows, you may have heard that we've been having some family issues, family emergencies, family health stuff that's been going on. And I know there are sometimes, a couple of times I made New World Next Weeks through or uh, rather good news next week's through 2016, there would be a couple of times that people would say, oh, you, you didn't actually seem happy. And that's maybe a little bit of the part of it is I wasn't feeling very happy, so I knew I couldn't fake a good news next week. Now, obviously, I'm speaking slower and trying to talk lower because Frankie here, not a huge fan of me speaking very loudly. And there she goes. I thought I was going to be able to do a whole good news next week with you, with the cat on my lap, and that would be sort of the payback of, hey, sorry, I haven't made a good news next week in a month. Here is a bunch of Frankie, but she doesn't really stay, because of course, as you may know, I have a big booming voice, and the more I start to talk, the more she's not really going to want to sit on my lap. So, what I am going to do is what I was going to do anyway, is blast through a lot of the good news next week headlines that we've been accumulating over these last few weeks using hashtag good news next week. And we are listener supported and we are crowdsourced. We get our news and our support from you right out there. MediaMonarchy.com slash support has the PayPal, the Patreon, the Bitcoin, the post office box, all the good ways of zeros and ones that you can give us that, that fiat currency that we need. Again, as I was noting on my morning shows today, I quit my job in the summer of 2015 to roll the dice to hopefully make Media Monarchy a self-sustaining thing. And so far, so good, thanks to the support. And hopefully, again, I, I think it's hopefully because of the consistency of making the work every day. Hour news in the morning, hour music in the afternoon, then also extra interviews, episodes, such as Good News Next Week. Even last week, you had the 300th episode of New World Next Week. Now, this, of course, is a spinoff from New World Next Week, where we try to look at some solutions-oriented stories more and more and more as that becomes more important. We know how deep the rabbit hole goes. We spend the rest of our lives yelling and screaming and bullhorning and diving down the rabbit hole, or, like my buddy Richard Grove says, learn our way forward. I like to try and hang out with people that I think are way smarter than me. That's why I'm lucky that people like Grove and Corbett and the rest let the rock and roll radio DJ guy hang out with him. So having said all that, let's look at some of the news brought to you by you using hashtag good news next week. The U.S. is making a big shift away from factory farming. And again, that's because people vote with their dollars. I've said it a million times. The food world order has been one of the most successful ways we have actually pushed back because companies, for the most part, don't really care what widgets they're selling. You, oh, you don't like these widgets? Can I offer you these other widgets? And when people, like moms and others, found out their food was poison, they stopped buying it. That made a gigantic shift. Now, hopefully we can teach our children well. Minneapolis kids unveil aquaponics projects for winter wellness as we are here just on the last couple of weeks of winter. As again, as I was noting on the morning show this morning, you can already see the crocus sprouts coming up outside here in the Pacific Northwest. And in the Pacific Northwest, Oregon's Mohawk High School to drop their Indian mascot. Meanwhile, up in Washington State, after 90 years, salmon are returning to the upper Salton River. And Oregon, back here, you know, for some weed delivery. This story I, I had seen tweeted February 14th from at Our World Change. And again, we try and give the links to everybody to give whatever, you know, bit of Twitter love and link action to spread that links, spread those stories back to you and give you that traffic. Oregon becomes first state to begin marijuana home delivery. Now, I think we've actually had it for a little while. I almost used it once. The only reason I didn't is I realized at the time we had just moved and my address on my state-issued government license was not exactly where I lived. The apartment was different. So I wasn't even going to try it because I knew that guy would basically go, I, no, it's, if it's not your address, I can't do it. Now my address is up to date, so we'll have to maybe look into that. Maybe we'll talk about that with Mr. Chris on our upcoming Mary Jane Report as we have been rolling out more and more new segments, benchmarks, installments in the Media Monarchy Kingdom. Third Wednesday every month on your Morning Monarchy, we talk to Chris from Mary Jane Report. So as long as we're talking weed, let's continue. Study shows no proven link between weed smoking and lung cancer. 
pharma positive results. Phase two, proof of concept study basically showing brain cancer killed by cannabis 83% of the time. That good stuff brought to us by our buddy Morgan Lesko, and it even has some of the research, which again, hopefully everything we say in play will not only be included, but we'll also have the research and the PDFs that you can continue to do the research for yourself. Landmark bill introduced in the U.S. Congress of Critters that would legalize cannabis on a federal level. Now we'll see actually what form this actually takes, but like our buddy Matt up in Idaho said, fuck the law, grow your own anyway. And that's what we've talked about, little Johnny Hempel seeds. You're not going to stop it. They call it weed for a reason. And it transcends a lot of the controls that, I think, again, are going to be nullified just by us, again, learning ourselves forward. Hey, if Israel can do it, Jesus, can't we? If Israel officially decriminalizes marijuana use. Now, legalizing and decriminalizing are two vastly different things. And they both have a lot of pros and they both have a lot of cons, neither of which we'll get into here and now. We just believe that adults should be able to put in themselves whenever, whatever they want to do. Yeah. No, no strings attached. No asterisk to that. Freedom is freedom. Farmer spends 16 years studying law by himself to sue a chemical company, Wang Inland from China sued a state-owned chemical company that had polluted his land. That's those classic stories. Those are the things they turn into movies. Diamonds created within weeks in a hidden laboratory, of course, pose a financial threat to the artificial scarcity of the diamond industry, brought to you by De Beers, and of course, multi-generational serial killers like Cecil Rhodes and his family. Also making the changes, electric buses are now cheaper than diesel and could dominate the market within 10 years. We've talked about this in a lot of the ways. Unfortunately, it's going to be the same companies selling those things. It's not going to be a gigantic change. But it shows that we can have some positive effect. It's just, again, it's, <laughs> these are the not unmitigated good news. Oh, the Rockefellers got out of fossil fuels. Yeah. And the same people who profited from throwing people in jail for weed are now going to course lord over the exploitation of that i think we did mention this on new world next week court finds speed cameras unconstitutional forces in iowa uh, ohio city to repay all tickets north carolina town goes one better and votes to disband becoming unincorporated not existing that sounds like one of the smartest moves any town or city could make and make it now Sharing is fundamental. We said it at the top of this episode, and I like this one. Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, which again is a whole other sticky wicket of discussions. We can pop back there and look at Global Networks with Mark Lombardi. I was just turned on to another book that really gets into his work, and of course the powers that shouldn't be in the elite families who love to occult the arts and hide it all away in their buildings. The Metropolitan Museum of Art announced that more than 375,000 of the museum's Public domain artworks are now available for unrestricted use, meaning they've put them up online, meaning you can grab them all. People have even put them up, I think, on GitHub. So you can find all of these hundreds of thousands of photos. Sharing is fundamental to how we promote discovery, innovation, and collaboration in the digital age. I couldn't have said it better myself. Hopefully that speaks to the kind of work that we're trying to do here and the kind of work that it can only be done with your support mediamonarchy.com slash support. And again, I super appreciate it. This is how we're going to do all of this stuff. This has been some of the ways that we are winning your good news next week episode for the week of March 6, 2017. I'm James Evan Pilato for mediamonarchy.com. Thank you so much for watching and listening and reminding you as always, like Jello the Offer said, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology and the occult, all remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.